hi everyone and welcome back to the channel uh, my name is florence and i'm a booktuber based in hamburg germany uh, if you're listening to this on as a podcast on my podcast one more book podcast welcome back and um, if you're on youtube that you're watching this of course on my on my youtube channel welcome back i know it's been quite some time since i was last here uh, just there's just has been a lot happening uh, it was january and uh, it was the longest month ever it has it i felt like january had 60 days but there was just so much to do so i kind of uh, didn't i have so many videos that i filmed but i did manage to edit them uh, but hopefully i will put this up as soon as possible hope that you're all well I'm here, I'm ready with my cup of tea. Actually, I have a, a big um, pot of tea. Uh, yeah. So grab yourself some tea. Today we'll be talking about, or I will be talking about my January reads, the books that I read in January. I have a few here as um, physical copies, uh, but I have, um, I read a total of five books, uh, but I have three physical copies and two which are audiobooks so let's start with the first one just looking at my list uh, the first book that i read was the woman in me uh, by britney spears and i've also written a review if you follow me on on my instagram i wrote a, a longer review on it um, and also on goodreads i'm not yet on storygraph I'm going to do that as soon as possible so i'll just copy and paste uh, my review from goodreads onto storygraph but i just want to be everywhere <laughs> everywhere that i can so the first book was the woman in me by britney spears which i was like the f i'm like the last person to read it because it has been on the social media for so long uh, when it came out uh it caused caused an uproar and um but i kind of had other books on my tbr list so i when i finally got the chance to read it i was like okay now let me do it uh in my opinion i'm not so big on memoirs um they're not really my the best uh the 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 books that i choose i go for fast but be, because this is britney spears i grew up with britney spears music um my 80s kid but uh around my 90s that's when i was a teenager and britney spears was uh was big going up in kenya in a small city called kisumu i knew each and every song of britney spears i knew about her relationship with uh, justin timberlake i knew i followed everything on like gossip pages and on mtv when mtv first came out so um i found out that by reading her book, I found out that most of the things I already knew, but it was interesting to hear her side of the story. And um, it it was heartbreaking because I felt like I kind of contributed to it somehow because I was among the people who were reading these gossip um, columns about her and pushing the cameraman and the press to just hustle her. So... Um, it really gave me like something to think about as per her writing skills well um, i'll leave that to you uh, to find out yourself uh, the story is um, quite sad and i'm happy that she's finally found her her way and she's finally found her way back to her true self and uh, i hope that wherever she is she is now at peace um, and happy so i gave that i gave it uh i think three stars three yeah i gave it three stars uh number two would i recommend it if if you grew up if you want to find out about britney spears um then please read it but i wouldn't suggest it it's not something like uh it's not a book that is uh like a literal masterpiece no it's not it's a memoir by a pop star 
yeah so the second book that i read was um just looking at my list a spell of good things uh by ayobami adebayo and this is it yeah uh, actually this is this is the this cover is um is different from the one i i read or i first saw so it's uh actually it's it was long listed for the booker prize of 2023 and um ayobami adebayo is the writer of uh, stay with me which was an amazing book so of course um i i saw this book and i wanted to read it but then also my book club um it, it is our first read of February. Uh, we, we are starting in February. So it's the first book we are reading. So of course I went um, and I had to get it. And it's a book about uh, two families um, in mo set in modern Nigeria. Uh, Wura Lola um, is a young female doctor. Uh, she's actually still in residency and she's from a rich family. And then there's Enola who is a young boy i think he's around 13 or 14 he's a teenager and he he comes from a very um uh, poor family so the story follows these two main characters as they navigate life in nigeria um of course there's uh in the book they talk about poverty they talk about uh corruption uh leadership uh there's all these how they affect uh, the the lives of the two characters and um, of course we know from the beginning that they get the two characters somehow get to meet I wasn't it took a lot to finish this book for me because I, when I started it I had an idea like I want I had an idea of where I wanted the story to go to but it just didn't go um where I wanted it to go I mean she kept on just going round and round and I felt like she was repeating I know uh, most writers use repetition to like make things more important like highlight something but it it was just like we are we are being taken on this merry go round that will just not stop um and I, I, I was disappointed. I have to say the truth. Um, I'm, I'm a bit scared of uh, choosing books because they are part of like they've been long listed or short listed for prizes. Because I'm just like mm, there are some there are better books. There are better, books. but I'm not a writer, so I, I will I will not be I will not be so so crit critical critical on it critical about it um and let you give you a chance to read it all in all i give it a three um beautiful book um a bit disappointing after reading stay with me stay with me actually stayed with me i read it almost two years ago um but this is one i will probably forget forget um but i can't wait to um discuss it in my uh, book club meeting next month so that's number two number three the third book that i read was how to say babylon um yeah how to say babylon by safia sinclair so this book i found out about i found out about it from a uh, Book, not she's an insta bookstagrammer uh, she's called cindy she's from trinidad and tobago and uh, i followed her for some time and she has a book club so i joined the book club it's an online book club and this was the first book of the of the year so i got it and um, i actually i listened to it as an audiobook then i got the physical copy uh, because it is also on my uh, no, local book club uh, list, uh, we'll read it along the month because we have the books for the whole year. That's why I got the physical copy. It's a memoir um, 
by Safia Sinclair who is um, a Jamaican uh, she's she's a she's born in Jamaica in a family of uh, four and she's the first born uh, to a Rasta Rastafarian uh, family uh, the the father and the mother they are um, strong how do you say it staunch Rastafarians actually it's Rastafari they are strong Rastafari and uh, it follows her actually it starts from she talks about uh, her father his childhood um, her mother and um, how they met and um, goes in into how their relationship was and uh, how they managed uh, to to get pregnant she, uh, she the mom got pregnant with her and uh, she was born into this family where she felt she felt how do you say cocooned somehow like yeah when you're cocooned she was protected but at the same time she, she was um how do you say it like a cocoon you're protected on the inside but you're also like restrained yeah she was protected and restrained at the same time so it's like there are things she wanted to do and she couldn't because of their rastafari um religion that her father belonged to and uh it follows she talks about her childhood growing up uh, school she talks about her siblings how how they also were brought up um, in this family she talks also about the rastafari um, movement movement or religion and they are the, the different types and also uh, she also tells us about the visit of Haile Selassie who Rastafari believed to be like sent from God uh, if you know Haile Selassie was um, the president of the prime minister I'm not so sure he was I think the prime minister of uh, Ethiopia uh, and he came to Jamaica and uh, he was worshipped because they believed he was sent by God so yeah we she just yeah she just shows us how living under her father's scrutiny and this really caged life how it affected her and what she did to to come out of it to yeah just to live it and to have her own life not only herself but her siblings also so the another nice thing that uh, I loved about this book is we got to I got because of Cindy books it's called books of sins her book club uh, they had a uh, we had no they we uh, we <laughs> because I'm part of the book club we had a zoom meeting to talk about this book and the writer was present uh, she was also part of the discussion so it was so nice because we could ask her questions uh the problem is only that trinidad and tobago is um germany is five hours ahead of trinidad and tobago so the book club meeting was at six and here it was like uh 11 p.m <laughs> or past my midnight and i had to i really did my best to stay up for the for the zoom meeting for the book club meeting but it was it was worth it it was so nice just to be able to ask the author questions and really really hear her story tell her story just like she did in the in the memoir so i loved it uh i gave it a first foster foster i'm not so big of memoirs i've already said that but this this was special and then the next book that I read was Ghana Must Go by Taye Selassie. Oh, I love this. I really, really, really love this. This is like, this was the best read of January. And it might just go on to be one of the best reads of 2024. I really 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 enjoyed reading this book but I have it I read it as an audiobook 
I listen to it as an audiobook. So this this um, is a story about Kweku, Dr. Kweku, Kweku Sai, who is a Nigerian um, doctor. Uh, the story starts where he he's woken up from his he's woken up in the morning and uh, taken a few steps from his bed and is going out because he has a ritual of going out and having coffee while looking outside um, and he has a heart attack uh, so he's actually dying that's where the story starts and as he dies as he's dying his life just flashes across just across his eyes and um, we get to uh, yeah he takes us on a journey um of his life right from his childhood growing up in nigeria being born and grown up born and raised in nigeria and how he moves to the u.s uh, to go and study for medicine and uh, while he's there he meets uh fola fola shade fola shade is nigerian uh she's actually yoruba yeah uh from the yoruba people and yeah she was due to circumstances she moved from um nigeria to ghana so she grew up in ghana and then moved to the u.s so that's where she meets um dr kweku and uh, they fall in love and they start a f living together. They start a family. They get married and start a family. And they have four children. Olu, um, who is also a doctor. There is Keinde, twins, Keinde Untaye. And then there is uh, Sadi, the youngest, who is also called Baby. So this book follows their lives um, as children of migrants but they live their lives spread them spreads them around the world so we see uh life in london life in new york um life in ghana as they as they are spread all over the world and uh in as much as they are she kind of made it in a way that they all came back to ghana you know um to the source, to the beginning, uh, to find, to find peace. Ah, it's a beautiful book. So, so well written, so, so well written. And it was written in, published in 2013. We are 11 years later, and this book is just as current as, as, as if it was written today. So I really, really loved it. I gave it a five star, five star five star so that's uh, the fourth book and um, the fifth book that I read is you are a badass by should I say that can I say that you are you're a badass by J Jen Sincero first of all it is the uh, Jen Sincero is almost like a comedian uh, she writes she has very a very n lovely sense of humor she writes in a beautiful way like her anecdotes are very funny uh, but what I didn't like about the book is like it's a self-help book I uh, actually and I try to steer away from self-help books um, because most of them are just like grind 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 um, and that's something I'm I'm moving away from at the moment uh, in this at this stage of my life and um, she felt like she's I, I believe she's a coach she she's yeah she's a coach and she makes everything sound so rosy you know like yeah why don't you wake up and do it um, if there's a course you take that course if you don't have the money borrow the money to buy that course or um, pay it using your credit card you know it's I felt really yeah I wasn't I'm not a big fan of uh, coaches that push you into into debt 
you know um because who's to say that you taking this course or uh, taking this coaching session will um there's no guarantee that you will earn any money from it. I mean, when you apply some of these things that you've learned. So it's a bit, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit iffy about such kind of advice. Um, all in all, it was a funny book, but there are some points where I wanted to DNF it. Um, I, but I pushed myself, I pushed myself to finish it. Uh, it wasn't for me i mean no it wasn't for me so i would give it a two star i know that's a bit harsh but it just wasn't for me i didn't see myself in it um and i would self-help books i want to see myself in like i'm being talked to so uh, she just wasn't talking to me um yeah so those are the five books that i read this month um, no, last month, we're in February, last month, and uh, yeah, it was, an, it was a lovely month, I enjoyed, uh, I, I'm happy that I, I'm back into reading, I'm back into reading, it makes me so happy, and I, I, I hope this, like, I can keep up this momentum. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget, if you're watching it on YouTube, to like, subscribe, and uh, follow me on my socials. Um, uh, my socials are One More Book Podcast on Instagram and also on TikTok. I just need to figure out my password for TikTok. <laughs> I know crazy uh, i need to figure out my password for tiktok so i can also post there thank you so much for listening and see you next time bye bye